What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you like these videos, click the subscribe and like button and uh, hope to see you on the next uh, few videos that I'll be posting. So today I just wanted to show you guys where I was fishing last weekend. I'm, I'm not fishing this weekend, check this radar out. It was a lot of rain in Texas, we got a cold front. Uh, but I went out to Lake Somerville again, um, fished the dam. So if any of you guys have not fished Lake Somerville or have fished Lake Somerville, you'll know that the dam in Lake Somerville is really great. A lot of rock. And then there's a couple of nice points, so check this out. Where I was fishing was, uh, you can see where the where the GPS has me. I'm pointed into the wind. The, the dam's located on more of a northern end of the lake, and the wind's blowing right into it from the south. Um, so it is a little choppy. It is great if you have uh, the ability to be stable, which, you know, with the spot lock, it's money. I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, but as you can see, you got the red where the dam is, and then um, where I'm sitting is one point and then in yellow there's another point. There's a lot of fish that hole up here and then I saw a couple guys fishing Saturday when I went out. Um, and then, you know, I'm out there for two minutes, first cast, and then I get a bite. But, um, as I'm trying to get the first bass in this boat, I'm real excited, it's probably a two and a half, three pounder. Um, check out what happens. See that? That sucked. Yeah, so that sucked. Um, hope to get that first bass in the boat, and I want it to be a good one. So, you know, that day just uh, irritated me. And then the rest of the time I'm out there, I'm not catching anything. So I was just going down where that where this red line is and casting onto the rocks. That's how I caught this one. And then uh, the next day, I was like, you know, I'm going to go fish these points. So I did. And I'm like, I'm going to get a bass in this boat this weekend. One way or another. There's one coming in this boat. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. I got I to gotta break her in. And uh, this is what happens. It's the size of my hand. I'll take it. Yep, so that bass probably didn't even weigh a pound. But finally got a bass in this boat. <laughs> it's pretty little embarrassing, but I like making fun of myself. So it is what it is. Fish is a fish. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try to make sure I get a few more big ones on here that I can actually show you guys that are a little bit more impressive than that. Um, but regardless, one of the things I, I felt like would be cool to talk about on this video and would love the comments um, are the uh, the Minn Kota spot lock versus power poles or both. Right now I'm really not so sure I need power poles because as I've started figuring this boat out as, as you get in a new boat you start learning about it and this Minn Kota old tracks with this spot lock feature is you know I always felt like I needed to get the, the power poles to keep myself stable and and fish and pitch where I want but I almost feel like right now I'm like, why would I spend four, five, six thousand dollars on on power poles uh, or blades for this boat when I've got this Minn Kota Ultrax and it keeps me right where I need to be. It points me into the wind. It does everything I need it to do. So I would love to know in the comments uh, as you guys are are fishing, getting into boats, or fish for a long time, is it really worth spending the money now that they have this technology on these trolling motors to get power poles? Um, I'm leaning towards it doesn't honestly, um, and I'd love y'all's opinion on this because. It's, it's a pretty expensive investment um, on top of what I've already spent. And I wouldn't do it anytime soon anyways. Um, but I love what this Minn Kota Old Trucks does. I mean, it keeps me right where I need to be. I was fishing out there for four hours and just not moving off the spots I wanted to be. And so far, I love it. Now, some of the channels that I've watched have said that if you do this and you get in the shallow water, you could kick up a lot of debris as it's trying to keep you stable, depending on the wind speed. And it could actually, you know, scare fish off the beds. And I'm like, I get that, but they, I feel like you'd have to be right close to the bed. And I'm usually, I'm usually pretty far out in the middle of the creeks or close to the shore, but not next to where I think the beds are when I'm casting. The other thing I would like to say is if, if you haven't checked your lines for cuts, let this video be a lesson. Check for cuts because that bass would have gotten in this boat. Um, and unfortunately, because I wasn't checking my lines for cuts, this is what happens. Um, fish come off and uh, 
it's unfortunate too because uh, it's usually the the nice ones that you don't want to come off that that end up coming off and then you know probably the little guy that I caught Sunday would have would have made it on <laughs> so yeah uh, just just two two cents worth of advice there but, uh, next weekend I'm gonna be heading out for Memorial Day weekend to Lake Sam Rayburn uh, do some bass fishing for sure and I'm gonna definitely do some crappie fishing videos so for you crappie fishermen definitely come back you've seen on some of my other videos if you haven't check them out I do a lot of crappie fishing I'll I'll show you guys some of the things that I do and then how I how I crappie fish um, and it's been with reasonable success um, enough for a fish fry anyway so um, but yeah I uh, hope you like the video uh, you know like I said it's been a little bit of a stormy day stormy weekend so figured I'd show you guys what happened last weekend that was a a little embarrassed by the size of the fish, but ultimately we caught a fish and that's uh, that was the goal. So goal met, now I gotta get a little bit bigger fish in this boat. That's the next goal and maybe a few more, that'd be great. So hope you guys uh, liked the video, hit the subscribe button uh, and then uh, see you guys next time.